What is going on guys? And today's episode of Taylor Garage, we are working on a Tesla Model 3. As you can see, we are actually gonna be bagging the whole, the whole car with the AccuAir management system and their, I believe they're universal air struts. They're custom designed for the vehicle. So it all looks pretty standard and straightforward. I haven't done an AccuAir system in a while, but it's not too far off from an airlift. It's just a lot more wiring involved. Um, other than that, we'll actually be paint protection, PPFing the whole front end and tinting the windows with 20%. So this guy's got quite a bit here for me to do. Oh, we should also check out his carbon fiber front lift, rear diffuser, and side scratch. This thing's about to be sick when it's all done. So don't, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned, check it out, and I'll show you what it takes to bag one of these guys. Take orientation of how your struts are. Because last time I did it, I put the struts in the wrong way, um, just because the hooks on this side. So you have to accommodate for that. So label your stuff um, just for peace of mind. They're 13 millimeters for the top hats. Uh, yeah. So if I remember correctly, I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to remember from the last video. If there's a secondary top hat below this that keeps it all locked in, which I believe there is, so if you take off the 13s, you don't need to spring compress the springs and the top should just come off. Don't hold me to it. I'm gonna fucking dive into this and figure it out and I'll let you guys know the real answer after I do it. So you guys don't end up catching a spring to your face. So be safe, wear safety goggles, and good luck. All right, guys, so as you can see, um, Suspension's in, went by pretty smoothly. I didn't have too much problems there except for um, their engineer design, I guess, for their their front struts. You know, they usually come, come with this, a stainless braided steel line for the front for most airbag struts. Um, but just by design and where the, the swim bar end links needed to sit and how the adjustment bracket is for 
those sway bar end links, they're just too bulky. I couldn't fit the line and the brackets where I needed them. So I just swapped them out with some 90 degree bends that swivel, so it allowed me the room and flexibility I need to get them to route however I need them to. Um, I still need to adjust the size so it rotates, but I guess I can just try to show you. Um, so, as you can see, here's the bag, nice lead in. Uh, just to recover the topic of the top hat mount, you just need to take out those three 13s and it pops right off. You don't even need to spring press the front struts. And then the orientation for the arms is that it's a horseshoe, so it comes down, kind of comes around. So it's on this side, facing towards the back of the car on this side. And then, yeah, pretty smooth install so far. I am just, I just finished at the fronts basically, so now I'm just gonna move on to the rears, get those knocked out today. And then tomorrow I'll probably run airlines, height sensor wires, start planning out where I need to um, mount the control, the, the ECU and all the manifolds and stuff like that because the trunk is so limited for how big their setup is. So, what can I do? I'll, I'll think about it overnight, but in the meantime, let me get back to the rears and show you guys how that is done. Let me go do this out and get this all back together.
quarter inch conversion adapters and this is the one fitting I don't have so now I have to run to the store just to get one fitting to make this work or I have to do it the dumb way where you put it into this guy and then put it in route between something so it'll look stupid when it meets the manifold so I rather just have it come off the tank and be just a little bit cleaner looking or maybe I can ride it down below and hide it down underneath the tank or something but still figuring it out, still figuring out the blueprint and kind of getting everything all laid out and set up but yeah I hate how this manifold requires you to use at least 8, 10, 12, 12 fittings is minimum just to make the system work it blocked off and tidied up I have to throw 90 degree bends on them just so they fit into this limited amount of space. I'm see if we try to get the tank or the compressions in here as well. But I might have to actually relocate those to the trunk just because of lack of room and space. So, what can I do? I'm gonna keep moving forward, guys, so stay tuned. glass on my doors instead of having to filter there all the time so this way you can look inside like a petting zoo so this is the trunk display that I have dialed in even gave him a little quick disconnect so he can hook up his air chuck um, other than that yeah pretty simple and clean I put the compressors in the rear trunk just because there's not enough room up here with how big this tank is so I'll show you guys that all right guys Hope you enjoyed this video. I want to show you guys this fucking Tesla bagged out. DJ, hit this shit. Or don't, or don't hit this shit. Oh, okay, just do the face in there. Nice. Doing great. Doing great. You're doing swell, friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dump it down for him. Check this shit out! Boy, let me show you guys. Hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.